Well, Chuchi, I'm out searching for goannas. Track of these guys down, it's all about understanding how they move throughout their home range and identifying tracks that lead you back to their lookout post. It can often be harder than it looks. Right, well, this is exactly what I'm looking for out here. I've just found lace monitor tracks and I've been coming just up along this embankment, just following the sand tracks all the way along. The funny thing about these lace monitors is they're big and bulky animals, right? Generally what I'll do is I'll sit and I'll just wait. Wait, 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 listen, listen, listen. And it's funny enough, because in this sort of terrain, you can hear it, you can hear the leaf litter moving. Their big sluggish tails just moving from side to side, side to side. So what I've been doing is I've just been coming up along here, just following their tracks, slowly just watching, 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 and keep my eyes out in the distance. It's always good to look out in the distance just in case you spot him. Boom, he's gonna go straight up a tree. These lace monitors are home right up in the trees. And I'll tell you what, as soon as they start climbing these guys, boom, they'll go right up the youth legs. Now, what I've found here are goanna tracks, right? And I can just see these tail markings right here. Nice fresh tail markings, nice fresh cuts into the trees where he's been clawing all the way up his claws. Now these guys here, they're bird specialists. And I mean they're bird specialists. These guys will climb all the way up into the trees and they'll search for things like bird's eggs. They'll go into the hollows, they'll pull out these birds. And it's funny enough, if you're really acute to the landscape, you've really got to listen, you've really got to hone in on your senses. You don't even have to spot these animals because you can hear the prey items up in the trees squawking. That's right, you just got to listen out for the birds. Generally what I'll do is I'll walk across the landscape, I'll sit and I'll listen. And I'll listen for two things. A, these guys are very sluggish creatures. I'll move through the leaf litter, their tail. So I'm listening out for the tail going in and out through the, through the leaf litter. Another thing I'm listening out for is the birds flying up into the trees. They're doing that big alarm calls, they're swooping down. And generally that means that there's a goanna close by. Well, trying my hardest not to look like I'm lost, I stumbled across some fresh tracks, and it's only seconds later, I finally run one down. Whee! One bite from this guy, and you'll be pulling teeth out for a week. Oh, you can just see this Loctite position that he's got me in. And he just does not want to let go. Ah! 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 Grab into my shoe. Grab into my shoe. Not my leg, not my leg, not my leg. Shoe. Grab the shoe. Here we have is the lace monitor, monitor or tree goanna out here in northwestern New South Wales. And I'll tell you what, these guys here, they've got some razor sharp claws on them. These guys here, these guys here are the goannas. These guys here are the tree climbers. Welcome to Australia. Home of the, ow.